Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bimsy Codes here, and in today's lesson, we're going to be creating our first game scene. To get started in Unity Hub, let's create our project. So in this Projects tab, let's go ahead and hit New. We're going to select the 2D preset, and we're going to call our game Grocery Catcher. The next thing we want to do is select the directory that our project will be at. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Bimsy Code Tutorials and select that folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. Once we've opened up our blank project, this is what you should see in your Unity editor. So at the moment, all we've got is the sample scene with the main camera in it. We can go ahead and untick this 2D element over here. Um, now you'll notice straight away in our assets folder, we've only got this scenes folder. By default, Unity creates our sample scene, which we're gonna be using in this tutorial to create our game. To get us started, I'm going to create a few folders in our assets directory. This will just serve as a blank template for us to throw all of our future assets into. So I'm going to want to right click assets, click folder, and I'm going to create the external folder. This one will be used in the future to add assets from other developers. Then I'm going to create the prefabs folder, the scripts folder, And finally, the materials folder. Let's go ahead and populate our game scene by creating a ground 3D object. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to game objects, 3D object, and create a plane. First, I'm gonna to wanna to right click its transform and reset its position to zero. Now we can see the direction the camera's facing by clicking on it. Currently our camera is set to orthographic. I wanna sort of move this plane down a little bit change its uh, size along the horizontal axis, so the x-axis, and that's sort of looking like the ground our character is going to be running across. Let's go ahead and give our ground object a name. Double click this one and call this ground. Next let's take a look at the camera. So we want to select this one in the hierarchy and we can see all of its properties over here on the right hand side in its inspector. So the first thing we want to do is go to our projection and change its view type from being orthographic to perspective. This will change its view from being 2D to 3D. So as you can see straight away we've got the perspective on our ground object. Now I'm, see, uh, I'm looking at this and I want to change this scale value just to maybe a bigger number here. So we'll just change this to 4 and 4. And that's giving us better results in the game scene. So we can sort of see our game over here. Um, now the next thing we want to do is give our camera some uh, sky. So I'm going to just set this one over here to Skybox for future tutorials. And then let's also change our background color from being this sort of dull dark blue. And we'll give it a sky feel to it. So let's just make that a light blue over here. I think that color is about correct. So let's make sure this camera object is centered. So we're going to want to change this and reset its position. If the camera object is centered, that means any new objects we add to the scene will be centered as well in the camera's perspective. So I'm going to just reset that position and then pull this camera back so it's looking at the objects that get added at our 0, 0 coordinate here. Now the next thing I want to do is edit the ground so it sort of disappears in the distance. And to do this we can grab our ground object and let's scale it in the x-axis by about 10. And straight away you'll see those corners disappear from the camera's perspective. So the next thing our scene here is missing is lighting. So what I'm going to do is go into the top here, into game object, add light, and I'm going to add a directional light. Now we can take a look at this directional light here. Um, I'm going to sort of pull it back in the scene so we can see what direction that's pointing to in our game. Um, and what I want to do actually is change this color from being a white and give it maybe a little bit of a yellow feel to it. Um, and that'll just sort of simulate the sun a little bit better. Uh, if our lighting's just got a little bit yellow. And then I'm also going to change this intensity from being 1 to 0 0.8 to just re reduce how much light is uh, being affected there. Now, a cool thing with the directional light is we can actually change this color to be like whatever we want. If we want to change it to green, blue, and it sort of illuminates the entire scene. But for now, we'll just keep it yellow as, as we had before. And finally, we want to make our ground look more like grass. So to do this, we're going to create a material and replace this default material on our ground with our new material. So let's go ahead and click our materials folder that we created earlier in this tutorial. Uh, we're going to want to right click, create, and we're going to create a new material. I'm going to call this grass for now, and I'm going to change this change this color to green. You want to make sure that when you create your, mat your material, the shader is set to standard. Um, now we've got a few properties we can adjust on our material here, so let's just drag this guy onto our ground, and you'll notice straight away that our uh, ground object is turning green. 
Um, and we can sort of adjust this metallic property to make our, our grass look more like metal, but I'm not going to do this. And we've also got this smooth smoothness parameter, which makes light reflect off of the object a little bit more. So as you'll see, if we increase the smoothness, it, it sort of works better on objects that have a bit of shape to them, opposed to a plane. But you'll notice we've sort of got that color coming through the ground. So I'm just going to keep a little bit of smoothness. I might actually just set this value to what it was initially on 0 0.5. And that's looking, that's looking pretty good for now, I think. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that wraps up this lesson. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna be getting into creating our character. I'll see you then.